You ready for some decluttering? All of the decluttering? Yeah. 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 You ready? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Good job, bud. Alright. Well, hello, everyone. So, welcome to my closet. Today we are going to go through, or I am going to go through, and basically declutter and get rid of a bunch of my stuff. That's kind of my goal. So, you know, it's 2021, and I, I think like a lot of people, had a lot of time to think last year about where my life was going and what was happening to it and what are the things that I wanted. And one of the things that I realized is that I am literally drowning in stuff. Just crap everywhere. I, like a lot of people, you know, kind of fell into that trap of like more is more and more is better and so I should be constantly getting something new. I used to shop a lot as sort of like a retail therapy kind of situation and so I just had a lot of stuff and I've been slowly paring down for the last couple of years and you know 2020 really made me stop and reevaluate what I was doing. So anyway you might also be thinking oh hey this is kind of a funky little closet situation and that's because I live on a bus. I live on a converted school bus that my husband and I did we made into a tiny house and so we have a very limited closet space and right now I am taking up pretty much all of it like this is his stuff right here and this is all mine and I don't even have enough hangers to hang up all of the things that I have and so laundry is constantly an issue it's always a problem trying to like get in there because it's so tight and so full of stuff that it's just super super problematic so I'm gonna go through and get rid of all of it. I recently left my nine to five professional job. My husband and I own our own small business and so we're focusing on that. And that means that I can get rid of a lot of the things that I don't need or don't want to wear anymore. The things that I kept just because I needed to have something to wear to work. Um, I was a librarian and so that meant that, you know, for me it was a lot of loose shapes, a lot of bagginess, a lot of things that were easy to move around in because I'm a children's librarian or I was a children's librarian and so that meant that you know I was always moving and dancing and stretching and doing different things during story times like three or four times a week so I need to be able to freely move around and be comfortable and also not be the sexy librarian because it gets real weird really quick. Oh the sexy librarian and the glasses when I had long hair in the bun, tight pencil skirt, it just gets funky. So anyway now I can go through and get rid of the things that don't match with my lifestyle and don't make me feel good when I wear them basically I think that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna pull everything out and then sort through it so we've got some weird angles going on again because it's a bus and it's really tiny in here but so right now I am wearing three things that I know I am going to be keeping it's my favorite slippers my favorite pair of leggings and my 1988 ham jam shirt presented by the Clay County Chamber of Commerce. This shirt has been in my family since I was born and I love it a lot. So these things I'm definitely keeping, but we've just got to take it out. And I think what I'm gonna do is do accessories over here, clothing items over here, and go from there. The wayward chopstick that I was using to clean. I guess I should take everything off the hangers and then put them back on the hangers. Would probably be a good idea. It is actually kind of impressive the amount of stuff that you can cram into. We have like 200 square feet of space if we're lucky. And it is actually pretty impressive the amount of stuff that you can get into a tiny living space like that. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. All right. So that I believe it. There's a couple other things that are dirty right now, but ain't no big thing. I'll worry about that at a different point. Okay. Then I'm coming through again. think we're good. I've tried this a couple times. This is a little tricky. It's a new camera. Um, but so now it's time to actually go through and sort out 
through everything that I have. Now, part of my criteria is that, you know, one, does it spark joy? Is it something that I enjoy wearing? Is it something that makes me feel comfortable? Is it something that makes me feel good? And, you know, two is, does it work for my climate? Because I live in Florida and it is toasty. Like right now it's January and it is a balmy 85 degrees today. It is very warm. So summers, which are long and excellent, I love summer. Um, it just means that it's really hot. And so I wanna make sure that I've got stuff on hand that is going to be appropriate for that. Um, the other thing is that living in a bus, you really, you live in tune with the seasons, basically. It's really hard to heat the bus when it's cold and it's really hard to keep it cool when it is hot. Um, it's definitely easier to heat than it is to cool down, but you know, it's a big metal box. And so it gets a little warm in here in the summer if we don't have all of the ACs going and all of the fans. And even then it's still pretty hot. Like we need to be in the shade or it's, it's toasty. Anyway, so that means I don't need a whole lot of cold weather things. And the other thing is that I have a little white dog and he is super snuggly and adorable. And he wants to be all up in your business all the time. And he sheds profusely like he just sheds so much it's astounding that he is not bald so I want to make sure that I've got stuff that hides the dog hair which sounds kind of gross but is also necessary because otherwise I have to tape myself everywhere wherever I go as soon as I get out of my car I've got to tape roll everything because I am always covered in dog hair like he just his fur just sticks to everything. It kind of like weaves itself into things. It's bananas. So I want to make sure that when I leave my house, uh, I don't look like a hot mess. Even if I am a hot mess, that's a big thing. So I'm going to sort it into three piles of, it'll be donate, keep, and then I might do a maybe pile and then come back to it. I don't know. It's, I got a lot of stuff. So, okay. We're going to start with I realized that I just really don't like to wear sleeveless shirts. Um, there's just something about it that I'm not super jazzed about, which is interesting because I always pick myself as being like a, but yeah, so back to the strapless thing, not strapless, well, strapless included in that, but sleeveless and strapless things, I just don't like them. I don't, I prefer to be fully covered I'm really getting into long sleeves. It's a whole new world for me. These I actually feel a little bad about. I got them during lockdown. I was like, I need a summer dress, a sundress. That'll be perfect and amazing. And I just don't really like them. And they, I'm trying to buy quality things when I do buy stuff. And so they're a really nice quality. Costumes are not included in this. Um, I do a lot of sewing and so I have like historical costumes and other costume pieces that I've made and I do like to keep a lot of those unless they don't fit in which case that's a different story. Funny story about these, I got these, I'm really superstitious about the new year and so I got these at, um, right before January 1st 2020 and I was like ooh I really want 2020 to be excellent I'm gonna get in all of the new year's tradition so I made black eyed peas, I was wearing red, I did all my cleaning all of the stuff. This is a skirt that I made. It's a short version of an Edwardian, work, Edwardian walking skirt and it's a hot mess. I don't really like anything about it. I don't like the fabric. I don't like the back closure. I do like all the pleats and stuff in the skirt. It's very full but that we're gonna pass on. I do have a kind of a tough time giving away things that I've made. Where are you going bud? What you doing? Yeah. Checking out all the things. Oh, you got something in your eyeball. Excuse me. We're decluttering, my man. We're getting rid of so many things. We're getting rid of so many things. I'm also, I'm not a big fan of shorts, despite living in a really, really warm environment. I just am not a big fan of them. So I've got more shorts. Okay, so we have got a few different piles and a dog. 
Hi, puppy dog. Oh, look, I'm taking a nap. Oh, never mind. Um, this is my costume pile right here. So this is stuff that has to go back to my sewing studio. This is my maybe pile. That is my donate pile. And that's my key pile. I'm not going for a specific amount of things. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I guess I'll go through that too. One moment. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. It is, this is pretty much all that I am left with. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am so hot and I am getting really sweaty because it is like 86 degrees inside this bus right now. I've got the windows open, but it's like 85 degrees outside. The sun is coming in. It's a really warm time, so I would like to wrap this up and turn my air conditioner back on. They're so loud that I had to turn them off to film. Otherwise, all you would hear is air conditioner. So anyway, um, this is what I've got working with me. I don't like any of my shirts is what I've learned from this. This is pretty much, these are the things that I really love and that I really enjoy wearing, but it's just, I think it's less than 10. That's all that I've got. And got my jacket. I've got a dress, a jumpsuit, one skirt one flowy pair of pirate pants, one flowy pair of longer pirate pants, and then jeans. I'm good on jeans for a while. I don't think I have to buy jeans anytime soon. And then I've got this, uh, I've got this little stack of knits of um, sweaters that I am going to fold up and they're going to live in the cedar chest that I have over there. Now what I'm going to do once I turn the camera off is put my windows up, turn my AC on because, wow, is it warm. Um, and then I'm going to tally everything. How many pieces I have now, how many of each category, how many I had, how many I'm getting rid of, all of that kind of jazz. I'm going to go through my shoes. And I don't have that many pairs of shoes. I think I have maybe like 10 pairs of shoes, but I'm going to go through and try to weed out the ones that are just hideously uncomfortable. You know, I had them for work and uh, it's not something that I'm going to wear in my day to day, you know, every day. All right, we are all done. I've packed up my clothes that I am donating and letting my family rifle through because they love giveaways. And I think I'm pretty much done. I went through shoes. I went through accessories. I went through all of my clothes. I tallied everything up because I am so official and I have so many notes. So right now, if you include beanies and swimsuits, loungewear, workout stuff, but not underwear and not shoes, I am keeping 47 items. If you include shoes, then I am up at 52. I've got five pairs of shoes, so I have 52 total items in my wardrobe plus underwear and all that jazz. Things that I'm getting rid of, I am donating 55 items, one pair of shoes, and I am going to try to sell four pairs of shoes. I've got clogs, some mules, and another pair of clogs. And so I'm going to try to sell those. They're all in pretty all right condition. So I'll polish them up, see how that goes. And then I have got five items in my maybe pile that I'm not 100% sure about. I went back through it, resituated all of the rest of it. So it's just those five. So I will bundle those up and shove them back over there where I can't see them. And in a little bit, you know, if I haven't thought about them, I haven't pulled it out, haven't needed it, then I'll go ahead and donate them in a little bit. But that's pretty much it. So I basically got rid of more than half of my wardrobe and yeah, this seems much easier to manage. I'm pretty excited about it. It's all things I really enjoy wearing. So that should be pretty fun. And anything that I add to my wardrobe from this point, the goal is not to buy anything new. So it'll be either secondhand or I make it myself. So that is pretty much it. I hope this was something entertaining, motivational, a way to kill time, whatever, whatever it was. I hope it was that. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs> this dude and Oh shit. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay.